this is Mario with MIA Microflight and this is a short video on how I do the indentations or the pressing of these conduit ends so they fit better with the maker pipe uh, connectors mm -hmm. so the first thing I do is I cut a couple slits top and bottom they are about a quarter inch deep which uh, with a cutoff saw like this one this is a kind of a hobby cutoff saw uh, it's got a uh, cut-off wheel. You can also do this with a Dremel tool if you have a Dremel tool, if you're nice and careful to uh, cut it straight as possible. Come in at about three-quarter inch from the um, from the end. I have a drawing that I uh, show uh, uh, this process as well. Not, not, not the cutting process, but I show the dimensions, where to cut and where to drill. And so I make two cuts, one there, one there. The next thing I do is I mount the uh, tubing on a vise. This is just a 2.5 uh, inch uh, vise. You can move these things around. And I have this uh, two-ton press, harbor press. And I come in and I flatten the ends. First the uh, the top. Uh, and because this is going to uh, not allow you to bend or flatten the other side without putting something underneath it, once you flatten a little bit the top, I've been using these um, uh, 7 16th uh, threaded couplers this is for 7 16 uh, screws or uh, bolts and then I come in and I use that as my pseudo die to come in and flatten the top and once I'm done with that I flip it over and I do the other side this two time press is uh, plenty for uh, making the, the dents on the tubing um, you do have to put a little force or your weight into the, the bar here the pry bar for this two-ton press and uh, it'll uh, it'll bend it the vise right here is basically to retain the um, the same width of the the tubing which is uh, 0.922 what you don't want is this to expand and so this vise has to be nice and snug to begin with on the um, on the diameter of the tube so it doesn't expand that way this fits right away into the maker pipe connector uh, the hole can be drilled afterwards because you have a nice flat there and I just take this to my drill press and I drill the, the hole at the distance where, uh, that my drawing shows so that's how I do these uh, uh, bends and you can see the tubing you know it's got that profile and so this fits really nice inside the uh, maker pipe connector and so that's how I've been doing this for applications uh, this to be a little more secure inside the maker pipe connector and in instances where I don't want to drill right through the connector and the pipe itself I mean the, the connector already has a hole here all we have to do is just make the pipe conform to the inside uh, uh, geometry of the connector and this is what I'm doing for the reason why I'm doing this uh, will be apparent in the projects that I will show next okay so this is the drawing that I just a sketch that I did it uh, while having breakfast I tend to do this uh, almost every every morning I get up I sketch something that's in my mind uh, and this was something that was in my mind uh, when I ordered the connectors and I noticed that um, they were great from, uh, from a press fit uh, uh, reference. Building static uh, projects, the connectors work just fine uh, by themselves and they're great connectors. I really like the fact that they are steel and the thickness of the steel is great because it holds things very secured uh, statically. But my requirements uh, um, are such that I require a little more uh, security on the between the connector and the um, tubing itself the, the EMT conduit tubing so that's uh, that's the real reason why I, I did this it's almost out of necessity I didn't want to uh, drill right through the connector another hole because it's not required you just need to do this and you can reuse the same nut and bolt which uh, clamps the connector securely and with this uh, it clamps it even better.
So this is the drawing, and this is the process uh, of the uh, what I just showed in, uh, in an earlier video. Uh, the process is basically you can drill, uh, you can start with the uh, the, ho the hole, uh, and then uh, step two is to cut the slits uh, at about those distance distances that I show here in this uh, drawing. You start with one, then you flip it over 180 degrees, and you make another slit at the bottom of the the, the other side. Then you uh, you mount that on a, a vise and you put it under the press, and um, you know you have to uh, make sure that the, the tubing is aligned. You know when you do this, so that it comes out symmetrical both the top and the bottom. With minor minor deviation, it's okay as long as you get the uh, that is center as possible on both sides, 180 degrees the other side. So the slits are basically to allow. Let me uh, just add to that. The, uh, the slits are to allow the the uh, material, the conduit material, to conform um, to the to the shape better. Without the slit, it's very difficult to get this um, this uh, uh, pressed. Uh, you would need a, a lot more tonnage in, in a press, and, and you would need a lot more force holding the tube uh, in shape while doing that. So the slit is to do that. Uh, I do have about about uh, three eighths to a half inch. Uh, actually, this is a more like three eighths in thickness here of material, and this is to retain some um, robustness on the end of the tube. Uh, you don't want to slit this all the way where this is uh, too thin, where it's not going to be as uh, secured uh, in a uh, dynamic application. Dynamic mean meaning moving or, or something that needs to uh, be under constant uh, loads or stress. So just keep that in mind and you can pretty much do the same as I'm doing here and like I showed in my earlier section of this video you know with the press and the, uh, and the um, and, and a vise and just be you know just take your time and be careful I did this in a matter of uh, just a few minutes of course if you have a lot of tubes like I do <laughs> <laughs> in some of my projects, it's going to take you a, a lot longer, but uh, you just got to have patience and, and just take your time while doing that. So this is the drawing. I also posted this drawing um, at uh, Maker Pipe just to uh, allow others to uh, uh, some uh, reference if they want to do something similar. I've also suggested to Maker Pipe that, that perhaps being that they already know how to do the dies and they're manufacturing the uh, connectors themselves with uh, uh, with uh, with a press pressing uh, steel, um, they're probably better suited to maybe consider providing a tool to do this on on the actual conduit. That would be a, a lot of uh, help for uh, uh, users or, or uh, customers that want to do similar with just a, uh, a um, just a, two simple dies that you can um, mount it on a two-ton press like, very similar to what I'm doing here with the uh, with the hex uh, couplers I'm using hex couplers you know as, as my pseudo dies to create these uh, indentations here these flats and I mean they, they work pretty pretty good um, and maybe in a later video I will um, expand on that and maybe show how <clears throat> how you could do that with uh, with a set of them uh, a little bit better than this process that I'm showing here. This process was rather quick and uh, I, I needed to do this uh, fairly uh, fast. And so that's how I came up with that. Uh, sometimes, you know, the best ideas are the ones that you can think of in, in a matter of minutes. You know, you don't have to um, work too too hard at, or overthink it. So, and maybe this may may work, you know, for, for some people just straight as, as I'm showing my earlier part of this video, you know, just with the uh, uh, hex uh, couplers uh, and all you need is a, a vise and, and a press but I think a, a, just a couple dies they would uh, they would be uh, a little more uh, in line with the actual geometry of the maker pipe connector itself might be a little bit better and, so, and that's something that could be sold as, as a set of dies you know to the user who wants to do this kind of thing you know to the pipes so anyway I just wanted to add this uh, to the video once again, this is Mario with MIM Microflight. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.